I don't have a lot of drama with my friendships. It's just kind of like, and maybe it's me just generalizing about how guys interact. Like, I don't know, a lot of guys don't want the drama. And if there is drama, they just said, you know, we just kind of move on. But what if you're in a situation, like I'm in a situation where I have a friend and this friend is constantly disappearing, appearing and disappearing. Um, because and understandably, they're going through some things, but they just drop out of sight. And here I am, well, like, okay, well, I guess the person's gone and I have to wait for them to come back. But what about me? I mean, I have emotional needs too. And it doesn't feel good like wondering, well, when is the person going to come back on? I mean, friendship should not be like a light switch. You are preaching to the choir and you are so right. And so I'm very big in consistency. It doesn't mean that we're not going to have seasons where we withdraw because we have chaos or hurt or we've been grieving, whatever the situation might be. But I love friends that are consistent. And so how many times have we been ghosted by someone that got a new girlfriend or boyfriend? Right. Or someone that even had a newborn and they had a baby and then we're left going, wait a minute, we were just talking every day, where'd you go? <laughs> yeah. So I think it's all for us to assume that that responsibility on our end to not be that person because it is confusing and we're left like, okay, I just created all this space in my life for you and now you're just gone. But we're yeah. not addressing there's even an issue. Yeah. So I'm for you because this has happened to me and I was so confused. Yeah, well, my answer, and you may think it's wrong, my answer is, listen, at some point, you got to draw the line. I mean, because it's not like friendship should be a quid pro quo. It's not about keeping score either. Because you know, as a little kid, they would always say, a friend in need is a friend indeed. And it's not about, well, if you need me twice and I need you twice, we're even. No, sometimes it's, it's an imbalance. But that being said, at some point, you say, enough is enough. Like, th th this is too draining on me. How do we go about either resolving that issue or just saying, gone, see ya, it's over. We either can address it and try to work it out and see if we're both willing to work through whatever it is that we're going through, or it might be time to let go a little bit, move them to a different category, maybe not as close, which I call the slow burn, where you just kind of <laughs> let it fizzle out, yeah. or you can watch. We can wait and watch, pay attention. Maybe we're meant to be friends right now, but it's just a life circumstance, like what you're saying. Do you ever just say to the person, this isn't working. Um, I don't want to be passive aggressive. I want to explain to you it's not working. And I think that this is, we should go our separate ways. Yes. Yeah, so I'm big into conflict resolution. So I like to address things. So yes, I have. And I've had to do that before. It wasn't healthy for me. It was toxic. It wasn't good for both of us. Mm -hmm. And so I've had to address that as well. And you can do it in a loving way to where you are coming to them and saying, you know what, it's just, it's not our time right now. It's not the right fit. I'm going this way, you're going this way, because healthy things grow, and the people that we're close to, right, we want to allow them in our lives, and we're in their lives, helping them become better people, and sometimes we can be in toxic friendships that are just not healthy in where we're meant to be, and that's okay. Yeah, but sometimes also you want to save a friendship, right, and so what are some indicators that a friendship can actually be saved, even though it's currently in a stressful situation? Yes, and I totally agree. If, because people are awesome. We love having friends and we need friends. They are what are sometimes our lifeline, right? Mm -hmm. And so we're both committed. We're both wanting to grow and become the best versions of ourselves are great indicators that it's salvageable. If it's all about you and it's one-sided and you're not in a great place to go through the process of working through what y'all need to work through, then that's something that might need to be addressed and it might not be on both sides. Wow, Dr. Mel, this is great advice. I mean, it, I think a lot of people are struggling during this time with their own situations, but also with friends. And obviously we all want friends, but we need to take stock and analyze whether or not these are healthy friendships and if they can be fixed, or if sometimes, like romantic relationships, sometimes they're over. So thank you for sharing this great information.